about seven years ago, Martin had sent me an email and he sent Brendan an email saying, this is something I wrote, something I'm thinking of doing, tell me what you think. Five years later, this version came and it was the first couple of pages remained the same, basically the concept. And Martin went from the one that I read initially being more plot driven and there was more action scenes and there was shootouts. And to be honest with you, my character was a bit cooler. <laughs> and wasn't yeah, he's not I, cool. I, that I know, I know. And what's the opposite of cool? He wasn't as deeply lonely, and he wasn't as he had a simplicity to him, but he wasn't as simple as lovely Porik. I, I, I limped away from reading it. I was ultimately very moved by it because it is, at its core, to me, a, sto a story about loneliness and about regret and about community, of course, and and it, it has a certain existential rub at its center. But yeah, concern. Just could I could I do it and not be dull as dishwater for an hour and a half was basically the issue. <laughs>